Hi, hey, welcome to Santiago Surplus. So this is just a really quick shout out to Carl Casarda of InRange TV and the hill that he's willing to die on. So the ATF made a determination, so they illegally decided to cre create a new law, legal standard, um, based on their administrative whatever for a gun. And Carl's like, yeah, I'll just pay the tax and have it. And, you know, his, from his point of view, it's fine, whatever. A lot of people are like, hey, that's an infringement. Where's the line? Where's the line? Come up to the line, man. When are you going to stand up and say, no? Why, you have a voice, a platform, a huge space. Why don't you file a lawsuit? And he says, oh, well, if you're going to all be lying in the sand, motherfuckers, then I want you to give post your name, address, phone number, completely dox yourself, and a picture of a non-compliant device on this Facebook thread, or you're a wimp. Bullshit, dude. First of all, it's a bullshit response. It's horrible. And then he goes on. And he says, let me tell you what happens to people who resist, who don't follow and comply with the law, who stand on their supposed rights and draw a line in the sand. Randy Weaver, Weaver's family and children. Waco and the Branch Davidians, David Koresh. Now this is where it's, it goes from just being a dick, right, to actual outright just oh, fuck Carl man look this is where he goes too far okay Randy Weaver was not set up and engaged by the ATF and the FBI because he was unwilling to comply with ATF regulations okay they talked him into cutting down a shotgun barrel on a perfectly legal sale and then figured out a way to justify calling it a little bit too short, like this much too short. And I gotta say, nah, you know, there's 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 still some controversy about that. Okay, was that true? Did he do it? Did someone else measure it? There's a lot of entrapment entrapment in that, and you know that whole that whole thing should have been thrown out. Okay, that kind of entrapment is not just. It's not good. It's not um, in keeping with our standards of liberty and fair play. Just not. What they did to him after with the misdated mails and the mistaken court documents, they literally misdated, misdated his court appearance date so that they could justify sending SWAT teams, HRT teams, the whole thing out into the woods and then shot a dog to start the whole process. Because he was unwilling to comply with ATF regulations? No, Carl! No! Because he wouldn't become an unpaid, high-risk informant for the ATF. That's why. Oh, hey, Carl! Guess what? The Branch Davidians? They were dealers. They were fully licensed FFL dealers. They had all the paperwork. They had all of the records. They begged the ATF multiple times to come do an inspection. So here's what I want to say about your examples of lying in the sand. People died. Kids were burned alive over wanting to comply with ATF regulations. So take your pissy shit and stick it up your ass.